brilliance of gilding depends essentially on the materials used and the operations followed to apply the thin gold foils to the surface. The technique of water gilding with the use of the bowl as a ground preparation is certainly the operation that leads to the best results and in his Book of the Art, Cennino Cennini revealed the secret of the great masters of the past. Once the drawing is completed on the gessoed and glued surface, the outlines of the figures are cut with a punch mark, dividing the areas that must be gilded from those that are going to be painted with tempera. At this point, the bowl dissolved with a water-based binder is applied with a smooth and flat brush all over the surface that is to be gilded taking care to keep an even thickness of the layers without stopping the brush. This operation must be repeated, always according to the instructions of Cennino Cennini, four more times, using a glue that is thicker and thicker. When the surface has been made smooth by a linen cloth, it is then possible to apply the gold leaf. After laying down the gold leaf on the gilding doll, it is then cut with an appropriate knife to reduce it to the size needed. Then it is possible to take hold of the foil, exploiting the static electricity of the brush. Having wet the area to gild with beaten egg white diluted with water, the gold leaf is delicately applied to the surface. This operation is repeated until the desired surface is completely covered and then the gold leaf is gently pressed with a piece of cotton wool. When the gilding operation is finished and the surface is burnished, and if necessary enriched with punch marks or further paintings,